Hi guys, and welcome to uh, the last uh, session uh, of this week. It is it's four o'clock now on uh, Friday, and shout came in uh, last night for the tune Calligraphy uh, by Saba, which is a song I have now listened to twice, um, and I've made a chart for. Sometimes when I make these charts. Uh, I feel uh, kind of good. I talked about expertise um, or feeling expert, uh, you know, uh, which I suppose in some ways teachers uh, ought to, or certainly they certainly feel pressure to. Uh, I talked about that in the in the first video um, of today. Uh, this is a song that definitely. Uh, makes me feel like a student rather than uh, a teacher. Uh, not an expert, but somebody who's just exploring and finding stuff out um, and sharing it. I guess that is teaching. Um, anyway, uh, I've had a listen to this song. Uh, fortunately or mercifully, uh, it, it's, a, it's a loop. It's a four chord loop. Okay, I'll try and go through this and, and keep it uh, uh, keep it short. Uh, this song has four chords, and I am going to describe those chords uh, like this. You can see on the chart. I put this here because that's really that's like the kind of like you're waiting for the reply. You know they're typing, um, um, and you're waiting for it to, to to kind of drop in. More more to come. Perhaps I'll explore this chart in in this tune rather, in much more detail, the drums and, and some of the other things. But harmonically, it's kind of, so more to follow, I guess, but harmonically, it's really uh, straightforward in the sense that it only has four chords. Okay, I'm going to describe the first chord as E major 9. That's an F sharp, which is the ninth of E major. That's a G sharp, which is the third of um, E major. Major nine. The second chord I'm describing as A13 uh, sharp 11. The first few times that you hear it, the bass note is not played. I think you hear this. Uh, you hear that. It's quite complicated to think of that as a chord of A7. A13 is a chord of A7 or A dominant, but it's got the, the dominant, which is the G there, of, of A flat 7 or the minor 7 of A, uh, the B is the 9, um, I'm describing that F sharp there, which is, is played there, where the 6th of A would be, as A, so that would be the 6th, but the 6th and the 13th are the same, so if I put that there, that's the 13th, so we've got 7th, 9th and 13th, and then uh, we get the sharp 11. Now in the normal dominant sound, uh, the 11 would be, um, wouldn't be sharp, it would be uh, natural as it is in the key signature. Uh, but in this instance I'm describing it as uh, A13 sharp 11. The next chord is far more straightforward. It's um, just A flat minor 11. I'm kidding, sorry, just Bad joke. Um, I mean, that was a really bad one. It's G sharp minor 11. Yeah, okay, so G sharp, uh, it's A sharp and C sharp. That's uh, F sharp there. So that's G sharp minor 11. Uh, and the last chord. Describing as C sharp over E sharp, you might say, "Could you not just call that D flat over F?" Well, in the context of this song, I don't think that's a particularly helpful way to think of it. You notice there's lots of sharps here, so we're dealing with sharps. Uh, perhaps you can hear that. I think this video is sponsored by kind of being a bit strung out and tired at the end of the week. It's definitely time for a break. Um, Okay, so C sharp, C sharp, uh, 
major over E, or C sharp seven, sorry, not over E, that's another mistake, um, not hiding that one, over E sharp. Uh, C sharp seven over E sharp. The reason I'm describing it as, it, I mean, it's not a seventh chord in the way that it's played, it's not a dominant seventh, but uh, C sharp seven is the dominant of the dominant of this song. Oh man, that's long winded. Can't you just show us the notes in the chord? Yes, okay. It's this note, this note, this note, and this note. You can have that as F. Let me describe that in a really horrible way. Okay, that's F, G sharp, D flat, and um, G sharp again. I don't know what that means. I've just confused myself by speaking about it. I've, I've spelt it incorrectly, so forgive me. C sharp over E. I was making a point there. Um, e sharp, which is enharmonically the same as F. G sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Creates a, a chord of C sharp major over E sharp. Uh, C, C sharp major uh, is the dominant of the dominant. That means that that is the five of F sharp, which is the five of B, which is the key in that I think this song is in. Um, and because of the way that this chord progression works, uh, this song, this song that I'm describing is in B, but um, is it? Um, it's B mixolydian flat six. Okay, which is the fifth mode of E melodic minor. Uh, there was a previous video where we talked about mixolydian flat six. Okay, that's it. This video is already too long. Let's roll the track and that'll be the week. Okay, I hope some of that makes sense. That is some chord, by the way. Okay, here we go. It's a beautiful song. Huge shout out to uh, Michael Bowler for suggesting it. Absolutely brilliant piece of music. Once again, you guys make great choices. I believe there's some profanity in it. I don't tell the truth to yell for sorry for me. I don't write this shit to yell for God coming. I don't get down like that road to your mouth. Okay, we'll close just before 10 minutes. 
Thanks, Michael. Thanks, everyone. See you next week. Okay. See you later. Bye.